Hi there, I'm back again, and I'm doing a follow-up video to a video I did a couple weeks ago where I tested different mugs and how long they keep coffee hot. So one of the interesting findings out of that, at least to me, was that a paper cup with a plastic lid actually kept coffee hot for a long time, longer than a good quality ceramic mug. So that started to make me wonder if a vacuum-insulated, regular-looking coffee mug like this, does it keep coffee hot simply because it's got a lid on it? Or does the vacuum insulation actually play a role? So I'm gonna do a test today, put this mug, covered mug, up against a ceramic mug. We'll cover that one too, and we'll see if there's really much of a difference. Is it the construction of the mug, or is it the lid? All right, so this is how it all came out. The first thing I wanted to see uh, was if there was any benefit to the high quality vacuum insulation when the mug was uncovered. Uh, I actually have data for three different ceramic mugs, and you can see here that all of them got down to that drinkable zone in 12 to 18 minutes, whereas the uncovered vacuum insulated uh, Contigo took 25 minutes. And as far as the time in the drinkable zone, the ceramic mug stayed there for six to seven minutes whereas the vacuum insulated mug stayed there for a full 10 minutes. So my conclusion here is that if you're not going to cover your mug, it doesn't matter too much what the mug is made of. It cools down relatively fast and you only have between five and 10 minutes to drink it before it gets too cold. So the story changes quite a bit if you cover it and this was a surprise to me. I really thought that a covered ceramic mug would perform more competitively with the covered vacuum insulated mug, but it just simply did not. Uh, but before we get to the vacuum insulated results, this is a view of just the ceramic mug with and without the cover. And here you can see that when you put the cover on the mug, the ceramic mug did extend the time to become drinkable from 18 to 29 minutes. And it did remain drinkable when covered for a full 11 minutes versus the six minutes when it was uncovered. Um, and as you can see here, adding the cover to the ceramic mug made it virtually the same as the Contigo uh, vacuum insulated mug without the cover. The impact from the cover was amazing on the vacuum insulated mug. The cover extended the time until drinkable, um, that time until it gets down to 140 degrees, from 25 minutes to a pretty staggering two hours and 15 minutes. Uh, that's not necessarily a good thing uh, because that's a long time to wait to drink your coffee. Uh, once it does get into the drinkable range, it stayed there for nearly 50 minutes, which is a huge improvement over the 10 minutes without the cover. So obviously, uh, with that big difference with the cover on, the majority of the heat is escaping vertically out the top of the mug. So a covered mug does make a difference. And if you want the most benefit, the construction does matter. So the vacuum insulation has been proven to be the best construction here. So if you're not willing to cough up over 100 bucks for a good quality electric temperature controlled mug like an Ember, uh, you can get the $12 Contigo mug and keep the cover off for the first 25 minutes to get it down to drinkable, then put the cover on and enjoy hot coffee for a good 45 minutes. So in conclusion, I guess the construction does matter and it's not simply the cover making the difference, uh, which I found surprising. I uh, hope you found the video interesting and see you next time.